Yes, there's a scratch test for my caviar handbag. Hi everyone, thanks for joining me in today's video. Today, I will be sharing with you one of the most talked about topics, which is the caviar versus lambskin leather handbags. We're going to look at their differences, some care tips, and which leather do I prefer the most. Before we begin, to my returning subscribers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you will be notified for any upcoming videos uploading videos do vary each week but i do try to upload videos twice a week and with that i do luxury unboxings reviews comparisons and so much more now let's get to the boring but very important part in today's discussion letter differences this illustration may be funny to you but it's actually a lot easier for me to explain these letter types as they're a lot faster to remember. Let's go over them together. Lambskin leather is a soft, buttery leather finish and it's mostly derived from lambs whereas sheepskin leather is from older lambs or sheep. On the other hand, calfskin leather is almost a mirror of the lambskin leather of which it has that smooth texture but way more durable than that of the lambskin leather whereas caviar is derived from older calves or cows and the leather texture is more rigid and way more durable than the previous mentioned leather finishes. There are other leather types that Chanel would use, but I'm only going to show you the differences of the two most common and popular leather that Chanel would utilize in the market. For the caviar leather handbags depending on the season, Chanel would produce several varieties of leather handbags such as the matte, shiny or glazed finish whereas the lambskin leather handbags again depending on the season chanel would produce either the well-known soft and buttery or the grained iridescent leather finish i will show you several of my caviar and lambskin leather handbags up close so you can actually see their differences Moving on to the two most common arguments against the caviar leather. Are they truly plasticky and less luxurious? Let's scrutinize this leather together. I truly believe that not all cows are made equal. In other words, all cows don't have the same skin type just like you and me. Some may have a well hydrated skin while others may have dry skin. Even though they go through the same exact steps or procedures to making this leather, they won't come out exactly the same. It is truly up to us to really check these leather handbags if they meet our standards. Similarly with the quilting or the hardware. If the quilts should look puffy, then I wouldn't take the one with deflated quilts. Furthermore, if the hardware looks out of balance or the symmetry of the leather is off, then I would stay away from these defective handbags. Going back to the two most common arguments against caviar leather handbags, there are some truth to it depending on how, where, or when these handbags were produced, but not all caviar leather are plasticky or less luxurious. Most of us prefer made in France, I know I'm guilty of it. Something about the craftsmanship and the quality that make them stand out than the rest. As we all know, Chanel does not produce the same exact seasonal colors with the same hardware combination each season. Similarly, with the grain size of the caviar leather differ from season to season. As you can see, the grains of the 15 series flap are large and has a soft surface, whereas the classic mini with top handle has tiny compressed grains and it has that iridescent look and feel of the leather. Let's check out further of my other caviar leather handbags from different seasons. This is my 19C bubblegum pink and shiny caviar leather with light gold hardware. 
This is by far my favorite shade of pink in my collection. As the letter is soft and the diamond quilts are puffy, that it brings out the true hot pink color in this handbag. This is my most recent purchase from the 21S collection in light pink caviar with light gold hardware. There is a slight sheen to it but not as shiny and not as soft as my 19C bubblegum pink classic flap handbag. I call these my 4th of July classic flap handbags. The 17B dark red caviar is very similar to my 19C bubblegum pink classic flap as far as the leather texture and the level of shine whereas 18C dark blue has a tough caviar leather texture and it's a matte finish. I actually treated my dark blue with the leather lotion and the sapphire cream surfine just to add some moisture to it. I will go over this information later in this video. Now can you spot the lambskin leather who has similar features as the caviar leather? This 19 grained iridescent lambskin leather has very similar grains as the caviar leather and I must admit that it can actually be mistaken as a caviar leather if not so familiar with leather types. Here's more of a comparison with my 19S grained lambskin in pink with my 21S grained calfskin in white. My 17 Sea Dark Pink, or more so of a coral shade, has a very similar and tough caviar leather finish as my 18 C Dark Blue, but it's rather shiny than matte whereas my 20 C Gray has a soft and shiny caviar leather finish. Similar to my 17 B Dark Red and 19 C Bubblegum Pink Classic Flaps, Moving on to the house of lambskin leather, are they that delicate that you must exert extra effort in taking care of them? Although lambskin leather is known for its very luxurious feel and look, they are more prone to scratches or dents if not careful enough. However, I believe that there's no need to really baby them. You just have to be mindful with the weather and the environment that you're going to take your lambskin leather handbags out to. For instance, I wouldn't take my lambskin leather handbag to the club as it's too crowded and I will pretty sure get my handbag beaten up by others when trying to get inside the club or when getting my drinks. One prominent feature that I truly love about lambskin leather is that the colors are more saturated than that of the same color as though in caviar leather. In other words, when comparing the same exact color from a caviar or from a lambskin leather, 
you will see that the lambskin leather has more of a defined shade than the caviar leather. I have a total of four lambskin leather handbags, two from Chanel and two from Dior in my collection. I don't really baby them and be like my world revolves around my lambskin leather handbags when I'm out and about. I believe that the more I act paranoid around certain things, the more that I get into trouble. Hmm, I don't know if I'm making sense at this point, but that is just my observation if I'm too overprotective with my things. But of course, and without a doubt, caviar leather handbags are way less luxurious looking when comparing them with the soft and buttery lambskin leather such as these beauties. As far as for letter care, I have two separate videos that I already created for all of you. They are instructional and must follow every single step to get the best results. I will link them in the description below for you to watch after this video. The most awaited question, which letter do I prefer the most? Without going in circles, caviar leather is my preferred leather as they're more durable and carefree. Yes, I scratched my caviar leather handbag for this video. But of course, it did not damage my handbag as caviar leather is more resilient than lambskin leather. Okay, there you have it. I hope you find this video informative and that you enjoyed in today's topic. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you on my next video. Bye!